Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Andrea and I film videos all about cruelty-free beauty products. And one of my favorite topics is eyeshadow palettes. I have a bunch of eyeshadow palette related videos on my channel, including collection videos, declutters, reviews, just anything like eyeshadow palette related, I will link in the description box below. Every year I like to go through and chat about my favorites and like the absolute best eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection because it does change since I try out so many palettes. So I'm going to go through and talk about my favorites. I think I have seven different palettes to share with you and this video won't be too long because I do have separate reviews and get ready with me's using a lot of these. So I will link those videos in the description box below if you guys want more info, but it's kind of more of like an overview video just to update you on what I think are the absolute best. And I'm really excited because I do have a really big giveaway. If you're not interested in the giveaway, I'll put a timestamp on the screen right here so you guys can skip ahead to what the main video is about. But I kind of like to sneak in my giveaways into random videos rather than doing like a video that says giveaway because this is for my subscribers that take the time to click on my videos and watch them and it's just kind of like a fun surprise giveaway for you guys. So I have three different prizes to share with you guys and the rules are going to be so simple. I will not make you jump through hoops, fill out forms or anything for this giveaway. Just check the description box below for more info on how to enter. But like I said, it will be really simple because I truly just want to give back to you. So I have one main grand prize and then two runner-up prizes that I feel like are still pretty exciting and they're all palette related just because palettes are my favorite and I thought this would be like the perfect video to include these products. So the main winner is going to win three different palettes and I know when I've done that in the past people are like why don't you just give away three palettes to three separate people and I would love to do that but I just really want to spoil somebody. So this person will win the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. The second palette will be the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette which is is a really fun metallic colorful palette and the third one will be Urban Decay's Naked Heat palette. So like I said all three of these palettes will be going to one person. I just feel like they're really fun on their own but you can also like mix and match and use them together and get some really really fun looks. So I cannot wait to pass these along to somebody. I had so much fun choosing them on Sephora's website. As for the first runner-up prize, this person will win a palette and then a set of lipsticks. So the palette is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. This was limited edition and Urban Decay did send me these products in PR, which was so kind of them. But when I do get PR products, I always set some aside for you guys to share with you because I wouldn't get the chance to try the products if it wasn't for you. So I am sharing the love and passing them along to one of you guys. So you will win this palette, which is gorgeous. It comes with neutrals and colorful shadows. And then you'll also win this set of Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. It comes with 10 of their Vice Lipsticks and this formula is gorgeous. They're all different finishes so you'll get some metalized, some cream, some comfort matte, and they're just really fun like warm colors. There's some nudes, some reds. So I just, I can't wait to pass these along. I feel like these two will go so well together. And the third person will win the Too Faced Life's a Peach Ultimate Eyeshadow Collection. And this comes with the Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette, the Better Than Sex Mask mascara and their eyeshadow primer and then you will also win these two products from Too Faced as well. This one is the Hangover RX replenishing primer and setting spray and this one is the Hangover RX replenishing face primer. So all three of these products will go together to a third person. So I know this intro is so long but I truly just want to take one more second to say thank you to you guys for supporting my channel, for watching my videos, for commenting on them. I feel like 2018 has been an amazing year for me on YouTube and I'm just having so much fun. You guys honestly make my day every single day. I have this like amazing community of friends and supporters and you're just so kind and supportive whatever I do. And it's not just like all about makeup but you support me like when I'm talking about losing weight and getting fit or it's my anniversary and you say kind things to Brady and me and it just means so much like I feel like I could cry thinking about it. So let's jump into the video. I'll chat about my favorites but I truly just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. Okay, so let me start with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette. I've talked about this a lot on my channel at this point, but it is such a high quality palette. I'm so impressed by this, and I feel like out of all of the Too Faced palettes that I've tried, this is my absolute favorite, and not even just from Too Faced. I feel like it's one of the highest quality palettes on the market. The metallic formula is so good. It's so rich and smooth and creamy, and I'm just really impressed by the formula. This really is different than any other Too Faced metallic formula 
palette that I've tried. I feel like a lot of their metallic shadows are very lightweight and you kind of have to build them up or pack them onto the lid. But this formula is almost creamy. It's so richly pigmented that you can just take your finger or a brush and apply it all over the lid and you'll get great color payoff. It comes with a ton of gorgeous colors. So you get some neutrals, some more like, I guess, typical wearable shades, but you also get some really fun, bright colors. So no matter what kind of look you're going for, I feel like you can achieve it with this palette. And even if you aren't a fan of blending metallic shadows into the crease, it does come with four matte shadows that are really helpful in creating a full look if you need matte shadows to complete your look. The matte shadows are really smooth and blendable and easy to work with. I love that they included a black because I feel like you can make any look a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more intense, and it's honestly just one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've ever tried. If you like metallic shadows, you definitely would not regret adding this one to your collection. Now, if you are a fan of warm tone shadows, you are missing out if you do not have the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette in your collection. This is the perfect red toned warm eyeshadow palette. I feel like a lot of warm palettes have pinks and purples and browns, and this one does have, you know, some of those shades in it, but in general, it's very red toned, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. No matter what eye color you have, or skin tone, or hair color, these reds are going to look amazing on you. You could go in with more of like a natural look and use some of the lighter shades in the palette, or you can do something mid-tone with the brighter reds, or you can also make it a little bit more dark and dramatic and smoky with the darker shades in here. It's just such a good palette, and I do like the Urban Decay Naked palettes, but I feel like this one is the highest quality naked palette that I've tried. There's something about this formula that's just like a step above the other naked palettes. The metallic shadows give you good color payoff. They're a little bit softer than like the Too Faced Chocolate Gold shadows, but they're really, really beautiful. And there is a little bit of like, I don't want to say overlap because I don't feel like any of the shadows in here are identical, but you kind of get a similar look sometimes when you're using some of the shadows in here. But I feel like at the same time, that's what makes the palette so seamless. You can go in with anything and really get a really seamless look. So if you are a fan of warm tone shadows, but you don't necessarily know where to start, this is going to be a great option for you because you can tone it down with some of the more like lighter neutral colors, or you can kind of amp it up with some of the darker shades. And it's just really fun to use. I think it's a summertime essential and I totally recommend it. On the other hand, if you are a fan of cooler tone shadows or more of like neutral undertone shadows, this one is going to be a great option for you. I feel like this is one of the highest quality palettes that I've ever tried. And sometimes I can be a little bit hesitant to try out new brands because I don't know how they're going to compare to like well-established, well-known brands. And I don't always want to, I guess, like gamble my money on something that I'm not sure is going to work for me. But I heard nonstop good things about the Persona Identity Palette, so I decided to pick it up. I did get it on sale because it was part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, so I got it for half off, but honestly, I would pay full price for this palette, and I hope the brand releases additional palettes because I am so impressed by the quality of this palette. I feel like it is one of the highest quality palettes that I've tried in a really long time. The matte shadows are blendable and smooth and pigmented, and they don't blend away. Like, sometimes shadows are really blendable, but you have to keep la- Sorry, I'm talking so fast. You have to keep adding color and then blending it and then adding color because the color blends away. These hold their pigmentation really well on the eyes and the metallic shadows are very lightweight, but so like shiny and beautiful and it's just such an easy palette to use. I wanna talk about two palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I know a lot of people are big fans of Anastasia shadows, but I feel like they're kind of hit and miss for me. I've tried at this point maybe like four or five palettes from them and I think I only have two in my collection because I've decluttered a lot of them. I just don't typically fall in love with their palettes and I don't know what it is because I know a lot of people love their products so, so much. But that being said, the Modern Renaissance palette is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time. I love the colors in here, but more than that, I really enjoy the formula. I think the matte shadows are so easy to work with and these are very, very powdery. So they're a little bit different than some of the shadow formulas that I was just talking about, but I feel like I can overlook it because they're insanely blendable and beautiful on the eyes and the metallic shadows in here are very lightweight it's just such an interesting formula and it's definitely different than other palettes I have in my collection but I feel like the modern renaissance palette is really unique I mean at this point there are a lot of copycat palettes but this one there's just something about it like it's the original it's beautiful it's gorgeous it goes really well together but at the same time I like using it with other palettes because I don't feel like I get a ton of complete looks using this palette there 
there are like a couple of go-to looks that I have, but in general, I really like using it with other palettes in my collection, but I'm just so impressed by the quality of this palette. So when they released the Soft Glam palette, I was kind of like on the fence about it because I... I just lost my train of thought. I tried out Subculture in between these two palettes and I wasn't the biggest fan of the Subculture palette. And then they also released the Prism palette and I heard mixed reviews about it. So it took me a little while to get on board and try out the Soft Glam palette until a bunch of you guys were telling me it's the same exact formula as the Modern Renaissance palette. So once I heard that, I decided to grab it because I love the Modern Renaissance formula so much. And I'm really glad that I did because this has quickly become one of my favorites. This is the newest palette to my collection out of all of these but it totally made it into my favorites list because I reach for it all the time and honestly if I lost this palette if I broke it I would go out tomorrow and buy it again because I love it so much it's such a gorgeous palette and I think this is ideal for those of you that like neutrals but you have other neutral palettes in your collection if you want a neutral palette that's a little bit more exciting a little bit more unique this one's going to be a great option for you it has a lot of like staple neutral colors in here like warm toned browns and pinks but it also has some really like fun bright materials metallic shadows that just kind of amp the look up. So you can get a really fun, glamorous look, a really romantic eye, something dark and sultry. It's just like the perfect palette and I love it so much. I feel like it's like becoming my absolute favorite palette out of all of the palettes in my collection. I feel like I have to use it a little bit longer to decide that for sure, but it's definitely in like my top 10 list. This palette has been a long time favorite and I've talked about it on my channel multiple times. I always kind of break it back out during the spring and summertime and it is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I just know that I've used it so much and I continue to love it. I think that this is a great like everyday palette. If you love warmer tones, if you love peachy shades, this one's going to be a great option for you. The actual palette itself doesn't have a ton of peach toned eyeshadows in it, but they're really complementary to peach toned eyeshadows. So they go well with other peach shadows in your collection it goes really well together it's it's just a beautiful palette and I like this one because it's a little bit more neutral both in undertone and in color so you can get like some really gorgeous neutral everyday looks but it also has some like really pretty purples and greens and browns and it's just a good everyday palette I think the formula is like a staple formula I love using this when I don't have a ton of time in the morning because I feel like no matter what I go in with I'll get a really nice seamless look and there's a bunch of like different everyday looks that you can get using this palette. So I just enjoy this one so much. The formula is almost identical to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. So if you've tried those, this one is like the exact same. And those have kind of made it out of my favorites, not because I don't enjoy them, just because I have other neutral eyeshadows that I reach for more than those. But this one still remains one of my absolute favorites, just because you get those neutrals, you get those warm tones, those cooler smoky tones, everything that you need in one palette. And there are just a a bunch of different shades to choose from which I feel like is always a plus. These are the ultimate multi-finish shadow palettes. I have two of them that I really really recommend. The first one is Warm Rust and this comes with really gorgeous warm tone shadows and the second one is Smoke Screen and whenever I do like a colorful smoky eye in general I use this palette. I'm wearing a different palette today because I was testing out a new palette but I usually do a blue look very similar to what I'm wearing with this palette. At first I thought they were like a gimmick because they come with four different colors and each color comes in three different finishes. So I kind of felt like it was a little bit of a cop out because you really only get four different colors in the palette, but the different finishes really come in handy. So you get a matte row, a shimmer row, and a glitter row. And you can use it to create a really easy monochromatic eye look, which is what I usually do with the smoke screen palette. If you guys are a fan of like this purple, this blue, this green, this is going to be a great option if you struggle with smoky eyes and you don't know where to start but you want something really simple and then the warm rust palette is so great if you are into warm tone shadows but you don't necessarily want to spend the money on a high-end palette I feel like the NYX palettes that come in this black packaging can be a little bit hit and miss but honestly these two are very high quality I don't have any issues with the actual quality of the shadows and I reach for them all the time. Okay guys, so that is the end of my video. I feel like I kind of went through it a little bit quickly, but I didn't want the video to be too long because I have 
talked about all of these palettes on my channel in the past. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on my absolute favorite, the best of the best out of all of the palettes that I've tried. And I didn't include limited edition palettes just because you can't always get your hands on them, but there are a lot of good limited edition palettes in my collection as well. So if you want to see a separate video on that, let me know. I just feel like that won't be as helpful because you can't purchase a lot of them anymore. But I'm really excited about this giveaway and I cannot wait to choose some winners and ship out your prizes. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.